I'm particularly fascinated by your SPAC, and I've been skeptical in, in some cases of SPACs broadly, but I'm particularly fascinated by yours, in part because it looks like one of the first I've seen that may be backed by a corporation, which is to say that Medtronic uh, has disclosed, or in the disclosure, appears to be one of your investors. And that appears to me to potentially be a new model for how these even work. Tell us about it. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm very thankful that Medtronic is, in fact, uh, an investor, and there are other long-term investors in it, too. But the key to the SPAC uh, that we're looking at is that the SPAC here is a means to an end. And the end here is to impact healthcare. It's a long-term thought process. That's why a company like Medtronic is interested in this, to explore areas where Medtronic uh, is peripheral to and uh, perhaps gain some benef benefit from. And the company that we identify can also perhaps go into a partnership with Medtronic uh, potentially at some point. But also other investors, too, are interested in this because uh, of the long-term nature of this. And I've said often that, uh, you know, my goal in this and my partner's goal is really to uh, create a platform in healthcare. And the de process is actually the start of our, of our journey, not our end. Uh, we want to make a difference in healthcare to see how computational uh, technology can directly impact healthcare and have the same benefits at the same rate in healthcare that computational uh, technology has in the consumer world. So it is a long term effort that we're after here, and we found the SPAC to be a very useful vehicle for that. But in terms of this model and its connection to Medtronic, and I appreciate there are lots of other investors in this. Yeah. Do you see this as a new model where corporations use SPACs, find people like you that they've had relationships with, and almost leverage the SPAC as a form of venture capital or an opportunity to invest in companies that they might not other, otherwise invest in? And what kind of help may or they may be they providing to you in terms of being able to find new companies? Well, I, I think that is right. Uh, look, the model has to be proven out. I mean, so far, uh, uh, we're just starting this. and uh, But the way you lay it out is actually uh, a potential benefit uh, and one that could easily be translated into other such models with other companies and other industries, potentially. But the help that we will get from them um, in many ways is... Uh, you know, they have a very big M&A department, which obviously I'm familiar with, but, but they have a very big M&A department and they have access and knowledge to uh, many companies out there. And uh, we intend to uh, get some help from them. So that's a, that's a pretty big effort. Uh, and then the other is, uh, uh, you know, whatever we do, it'll be complementary to Medtronic. And because of that, it may well help Medtronic. It may uh, help us as we uh, try to scale the company, because one of my biggest goals here is to find a scale company. And Medtronic can indeed help doing that. But their M&A effort, their back office, their diligence process, all of those things, uh, we can get some assistance from, and I'm looking forward to that. And the partnership uh, with Tell them me how this in the thought process. Yeah, go ahead. Tell me how this came about, though, because I, I know that one of the architects uh, of putting this together uh, was, was Josh Fink. Uh, um, yeah. Son, I should say, of Larry Fink. Yeah. Well, you know, the way it came together was this. Look, I, I retired from Medtronic uh, uh, in April of uh, last year. And I was looking at what I wanted to do. And, uh, and I had a deep interest in uh, computation technology. I've got a background in engineering. And I've always maintained an interest there. And I've also, obviously, an interest in healthcare. And I've noted, like I pointed out before, the potential um, opening there in the sense that connecting computational technology with a clear line of sight to improvement in healthcare at the level of a patient is one that uh, is really missing. There's a connection there, but the improvement doesn't happen at the same pace as the growth in computational technology. So that was an area I wanted to really work on. And, um, and one of the last acquisitions that we did in Medtronic was the acquisition of digital surgery, which was an AI and... Uh, 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 AI company in the surgical space. And through that, I met Jean, who was one of the founders of digital surgery. And uh, he's an entrepreneur as well. He's a surgeon. Uh, and Jean introduced me to Josh. And Josh had helped uh, digital surgery grow by introducing SoftBank uh, to digital surgery. And then I soon learned that John was a highly accomplished investor himself. He had connections with the uh, uh, venture capital world with, uh, you know, long-term investors, uh, which, I, uh, which I had peripherally, but Josh was really connected to that. And so Josh uh, came up with the idea of the SPAC, 
And uh, I really didn't know too much about it uh, until I learned. And what brought me to that through Josh's, uh, through the interaction with Josh and John was that the SPAC for me is a long-term investment and where I can take a scaled opportunity and attack it quickly and benefit and make it benefit quickly. Right. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.